the presidential elections, AI, the Oscars, Ice Spice? What do all of these have in common? Well, if you haven't heard, you can now gamble on the outcome of these events. Welcome to America, where everything, and I mean everything, is a wager. How do we go from enjoying movies, music, and hanging out with friends, to betting on whether Donald Trump will say tampon in a presidential debate? Yeah, if you think I'm lying, go and look that up. Before we dive into this, comment the weirdest thing that you've seen gambling lines offered on, because I'd love to make a video on the weirdest bets, just to show how absurd our world has become. To understand how we arrived at this absurd new reality, we need to look back. Most people would say sports betting was the gateway, and sports betting has absolutely blown up in the United States. What started as betting on the Super Bowl or the NBA Finals is now a multi-billion dollar industry. And now, with platforms like Calshi, the stakes have moved from the stadiums to society itself. But why? What's driving this urge to place bets on everything? Could it be the economy? I mean, there's an ad out there that sums it up perfectly. My parents bought a house in 1980. Me, if I bet $100 on the Joker getting 100% on Rotten Tomatoes, which it didn't, I can buy a couch. Or maybe it's just the gamification of everything in the US. Maybe this is the trend. Or maybe it's the allure of intelligent betting. People betting on AI advancements or Oscar winners might feel like they're trading stocks or placing complex options contracts. But does that really make sense? Or are we just fooling ourselves into thinking that this is a smart way to gamble? Is there even a smart way to gamble? What do you think? How do we go from enjoying certain entertainment to placing bets on whether AI is gonna take over the world or not? The real danger of this lies in the ethical issues. Because let's be real, Calshi and other platforms like it blur the lines between harmless fun and something much more dangerous, the manipulation of pretty much every aspect of society. Take elections, for example. Betting on them isn't just a game. Could it actually influence voter behavior if enough people are betting on a particular result? Does that sway the public perception or even the outcome itself? And what about manipulation? Could influencers, insiders, or large platforms exploit this for their own profit? Maybe. And the candidates themselves could even manipulate the process for profit. There's tons of consequences if a pro athlete throws a game to impact betting lines, but those same precedents aren't there for politicians. In the UK, for example, there was a candidate that wagered 8,000 pounds on himself to lose in their election, which he did. He did this on a site very similar to Kalshi. There's always so much fear about election manipulation, and it's been one of the main reasons that politicians want to ban TikTok, but there's no way that gambling on the elections could possibly be worse, right? Well, not if you ask the US appeals court, because they gave Kalshi the green light to take your bets on this election. Reducing critical social events like elections or global crises down to betting opportunities changes the reason why people vote for who they vote for. These are things that impact real lives and opens up the world to a ton of manipulation. When we start gambling on these outcomes, do we risk undermining the seriousness of democracy itself? Sounds dramatic, but seems likely. And then there's the tech world. With hype already surrounding AI, betting could fuel speculative behavior and a ton of misinformation. We saw bubbles play out with crypto and we could see something very similar here. If enough people bet on the next big thing, does that influence public perception and even investment in that tech? More than that, this normalization of gambling in everyday life, whether it's betting on elections, tech, or even award shows, could lead to more addiction especially among younger people, because the younger you start gambling, the more likely it is that you develop an addiction. It's no longer confined to casinos or sports books. It's right there in our everyday lives, wrapped in the guise of smart or informed social betting. I don't think that we're far from the day where you're gonna be able to place bets with one click on your TV while you're watching a show. Imagine you're watching CNN or Fox and being presented with the option to gamble on what the next segment will be, or live betting during a presidential debate about how many times someone will say something. We are turning our world into one big casino. And while it might seem like fun at first, it's something that will very quickly turn into compulsion for many people. And before you know it, it's gonna change the way that we all engage with media 
for the worse. So where does it stop? What happens when this becomes so normal that we don't question it anymore? How do we stop this from spiraling out of control? Well, one option is regulation. More stringent controls on what can be gambled on, especially when it comes to elections or critical social issues that gambling being involved could actually be a threat to national security. Another approach is education. We need to raise awareness about the dangers of turning everything into a game or a wager. People need to understand that this isn't just for fun. There are real consequences. There's a belief that a gambling addiction is just a money problem for those who are struggling with it. But the reality is that getting hooked to gambling can cost you friendships, relationships, ambitions, your sleep, and your mental health. Ultimately, it comes down to us. We need to start asking ourselves if this stuff that's going on with Kalshi and other groups like them is the kind of future that we're wanting to see. A future where every event, every crisis, every moment is reduced to a wager. Is this the world we want to live in? And if you're finding yourself saying yes, do you truly believe that? Or do you think it's cool to go along with the trend of being a degenerate, like TikTok glorifies? As someone who spent years struggling with a gambling addiction, I can only hope that behind the jokes, you realize that gambling can literally ruin your life. Today, we're betting on elections, award shows, and AI developments. What's next? Betting on the next global pandemic? The next natural disaster? If we don't take a step back, this is likely where we're heading. What do you think? Is this really a problem or am I just reading into it too much? Let me know in the comments below. If you're someone that wants to know more about the real risks that a gambling addiction can bring into your life, then check out this video and let's keep getting better together one day at a time.